Hey everyone, um, Kalei, my LF training, and I just was Googling some uh, areas, assisted living facilities, and I just wanted to see what people are doing for reviews, um, because I think that um, people don't put enough emphasis on reviews. So many of the consumers nowadays are so used to like Yelp, so Yelpification of businesses and assisted living facilities, and there were people there there were 100 200 bed facilities that had eight reviews five reviews seven reviews and there was one that actually surprised me which was a 150 bed community and had one review and it was a negative it was a one star review and so i just googled the area right and there it was on the map with a one star review and you can't turn that off, you can't get rid of those um, on Google, for example, and on Facebook, you can't either. So on Facebook, you can turn your reviews off so people can't leave reviews, and I would recommend that anyway because you can't remove bad reviews. You can respond to them, but anything in assisted living, when we're taking care of seniors or children or anything like that, anything sounds a 100 times worse when we're dealing with with seniors and every you can't please everybody that's impossible so the best thing you can do with with Facebook is turn your reviews off they still can leave ratings I believe so um, and so and Google they can just go ahead and leave a review so what you need to do and it just needs to be part of your process now we were a 32 bed facility and and we probably our Facebook had a lot of reviews um, probably 20, 30, and then our, our um, Google had a lot. But part of the reason why I had to do that is because we did get a negative review and it was a disgruntled person um, and it, it was all lies. And what I did was, so there was a negative review and then I had to, I had to go around and tell the families like this person said that, you know, we, we, have, we only serve uh, this food and there's flies and bugs. And I had to go rally around and get all the other family members to go ahead and counter that review because they can leave comments under the other review, and then um, <clears throat> and then I and then I started to implement a, a process to um, have have a review process in place. So you should definitely have a review process in place. So the way the way I would do it is whenever train your staff, have a meeting. Anytime anybody says anything positive, which they always do, I mean, you run a nice place, you do a good job, you always get great feedback. All of your employees should be trained if they say, here's an example, Mrs. Jones says to one of your caregivers, you guys are the best, you take such good care of my mom. That staff member should be trained to say, would you mind leaving us a review on Google or Facebook or, or a rating or on Facebook and you need to uh, you need to be uh, preemptive you need to get out there and get all your reviews and your testimonials because you will get negative reviews and you can't take it away you can't get rid of it I mean you you might be able to go through process with Google to fight it I did have one ex-employee who left the negative review and it and there is a process where you can say hey this was a ex-employee and they're just disgruntled, but they can always fill out anonymous things and you don't know. Um, they create a fake account and that's what this person did, but I was able to trace it back and see that, that they were an ex-employee and I reported it and it was removed. But if a family member does it and it sounds legitimate, I mean, it just is not good. So you need to put a process in place so that you're collecting reviews and testimonials and it's great marketing. I mean, they come to your Facebook page and they see you know, reviews or ratings and, and activity. But you, I would also set up an email, like a, in Gmail, you can set up like a, can, I would just, if anybody says anything, your staff, one thing you could do is you could say, let us know if anybody says anything nice. Bring that to the administrator or the marketing person. The marketing person sends out a letter or an email and the email explains why it's so important that you share that testimonial with the public and with a link to your Facebook page and your Google uh, places page. So you want to definitely be preemptive, preemptive and have a system in place where you're constantly, constantly, constantly collecting positive testimonials and feedback. I would also have a form 
that you can have them fill out and then you can upload them onto your website or, or post them. They can even just fill out a little quote. If they don't wanna give you a digital review, then maybe they'll take an audio review and you can post that on Facebook. But a, a, if they do a handwritten note, you can quote it and then you put it into the, um, you, you put it on Facebook, quote, quote, so-and-so's name. Thank you for the positive review. So that, that's just something about reviews. I just wanted to share that. I'm gonna quickly show you the negative review that I, ha that I had seen and you'll see how, how bad it looks. And it definitely will dissuade people from choosing your facility for the care of their loved ones. Okay, thanks.